Welcome back to Fitness Tip Bits. Today, we have some exciting news from a recent scientific study. An ordinary dietary component known as resistant starch could be key to improving the health of individuals suffering from non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or NAFLD. This study, published in the Journal of Cell Metabolism on September 5, has unveiled some intriguing findings. So, let's dive right into it. Imagine a condition affecting about 30% of the world's population, a condition that can lead to severe liver problems, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular diseases. That's NAFLD for you, caused by a fat buildup in the liver. Until now, there hasn't been a specific medication to treat it, with doctors typically recommending lifestyle changes. But what if a simple dietary addition could make a significant difference? Well, researchers wanted to explore exactly that. They suspected that NAFLD might be linked to changes in gut bacteria. So, they conducted a four-month study involving 200 NAFLD patients. Here's what they found. Participants were divided into two groups. One group received a daily dose of resistant starch, while the other received a calorie-matched non-resistant cornstarch as a control. Both groups followed a balanced dietary plan crafted by a nutritionist. After four months, here's where it gets interesting. Those who received the resistant starch treatment experienced some remarkable improvements. Their liver triglyceride levels dropped by nearly 40% compared to the control group. Not only that, but they also saw a reduction in liver enzymes and inflammatory factors associated with NAFLD. What's fascinating is that these benefits remained, even after accounting for any changes in their body weight. This suggests that the effects of resistant starch were independent of weight loss. Now, you might be wondering how this worked. Well, the researchers dug deeper and found that resistant starch was making remarkable gut changes. Analysis of fecal samples showed that the resistant starch group had a different composition and functionality of gut bacteria compared to the control group. One significant change was the reduced presence of a particular bacterial species called Bacteroides stercoris, known to influence liver fat metabolism through its metabolites. But here's the kicker. The mice showed some incredible results when they took the fecal microbiota from those who had received the resistant starch treatment and transplanted it into mice on a high-fat, high-cholesterol diet. Their liver weight decreased, their liver triglyceride levels dropped significantly, and their liver tissue grading improved compared to mice that received microbiota from the control group. So, what does all of this mean for us? It means that a simple dietary addition, like resistant starch, could potentially be a game-changer in treating NAFLD. It's an intervention that's not only effective but also affordable and sustainable. And the best part? It's easier to incorporate into a normal, balanced diet than some of the more strenuous options. In conclusion, this research opens up exciting possibilities for managing a widespread health issue lacking a targeted pharmaceutical solution. But remember, before making any significant dietary changes or starting a new treatment regimen, it's crucial to consult with healthcare professionals, especially if you have a medical condition like NAFLD. Stay informed, stay healthy, and who knows what other dietary discoveries await us in the future. That's it for today's tip bits. Thanks for tuning in.